these are the parts of the sequence that acquired mutations if we compare this protein to SARS. Okay. And it is not very typical what happens during the, the, you know, the mutation of this protein. Now, surprisingly enough, if you look at these four inserts, three of them are very close to each other. If you look at the sequence, they are very far from each other. So it's only in 3D that you can actually see that they could possibly act in the orchestrated manner. So now our goal is to see which of the drugs can bind in the non-mutated parts. Because some of them will bind in the parts that are mutated. However, what the good news for us is that we already established a list of uh, potential drug candidates that bind the parts of the, no, of the new virus that are essentially identical to the SARS.